Warte. Ich Oh, okay. You know what to get upset, Mum. I'm not to get upset about what, Marcus? When we move. Yes. I'm not coming with you. I've been thinking about this a lot. And I'll be working with you guys really closely, which is brilliant. But. You want your own space? Over my dead body. Faith. Where will you go? I don't know yet. I have to start looking for a place to live. And this is really what you want, is it? It is, Dad. Then you'll have our blessing. You speak for yourself. This is a time when the family should stick together. Everything's changing and I hate it! was renovated in the mid-70s, I believe. Four bedrooms, a roof which doesn't leak. This should be a pleasant change for you, no doubt. Mr. Roebuck. Forty acres, all told. Mr. Roebuck. Excellent drainage, excellent access. Mr. Roebuck. Yes, Miss Stratis. It's horrible. At least a leaking roof would be a sign of character. It's a shame you think that. Why? Because I'm fast running out of properties to show you. Hello? Oh, Miss Jessup? What's happened? <laughs> Curious things, aren't they? What? Men. I mean, they'll spend hours chasing a piece of plastic when they could be talking to us. <laughs> oh, I think they're lovely. That's because you're completely smitten. True. <laughs> I don't normally bring parents at this stage, but Molly. Children like Molly make what I do worthwhile. She's clever, polite, generous. But that's not why we're here, though, is it? The last few weeks, I've seen a change come over her. She seems distracted, a little irritable, and her work is starting to suffer. Did she tell you that we're moving house? If we ever find anywhere. No, she hasn't told me that. She loves that old house of yours. We all do. The business is doing well. We need to expand. Well, it all makes sense now. Some children love change, some hate it. Well, it must be the latter. I wouldn't worry too much. Molly, what are you doing, love? Nothing. Perhaps we shouldn't sell for the shows. Faith, you know we have to. Well, maybe then Molly would go back to being a human being. Marcus won't be leaving home. He's a man now. He doesn't want to live with his mum and dad anymore. Until we said about selling filler shades, he hadn't even thought about it. Of course he would. We should count ourselves lucky he still wants to work with us. How many parents can say that? Yeah, I suppose so. Just that it seems like only yesterday as a little baby. We didn't have a clue, did we? No. Uh, I had to ask your mum to show me how to change him. <laughs> And bathing. And your parents showed up with a bottle of warm Lee Proud Milch and horror stories about bringing up kids. Mm. It snowed all that first night, remember? 
They just sat there staring at him. A little miracle. Now he's leaving home. We did all right, didn't we? Yeah, we did. There's one. Room in a shared house in Oakhampton. Vegetarian, non-smoker, preferred GSOH. What's GSOH? I don't know. A few of them have got it. Gas, central, overhead eating? You don't spell central with an S. Well, well they might do, Dano Campton. How much they want for it? What? 250 a month for a room in a shared house? Well, that's the market price. The trouble with what you do is that once you step out of the smallhold economy into the real world, it hurts. If only you could pay your rent in baby carrots. Thank you, Professor. I do realise I'm a little cash light. <sighs> Soapless. Talk of opus. You coming in that practice tomorrow? I suppose. Oh, why didn't I think of that? What? Well, you know, um, Eddie Arnold, local place cricket for Midford. No. We're playing them on Saturday. Now, his old man, he's some sort of landlord, apparently. He's got places all over Devon. Really? Yeah. It's worth an ask. Hmm. Well, here's one. 50 quid a week, though. Where is it? Don't say. Might give him a ring. See if we can see it tomorrow. Breakfast is ready. Lovely day. Yeah. Listen, Marcus. The other night when you told us your news, I may have given you the impression that I was somewhat less than ecstatic about you leaving home. I think over my dead body was the term you used. Did I say that? Yeah. Well, what I meant to say was how pleased I am that you'll continue to work with us and how supportive I'll be in helping you find somewhere else to live. Mum. As long as it's within a three-mile radius of the new house. Mum. And as long as you come back for your dinner every Sunday. Mum. And as long as you don't expect me to do your washing. Well, not that fun. It's a deal. Good. Come get your breakfast. Mum. Three miles, we agreed. Thank you. It's getting cold. Any luck finding somewhere? Me and Alex are going to look at a place today. What's wrong with you, Mum? She heard voices in her sleep. Mum, remember that time we had trouble with Mr Furs? You thought you heard things then, didn't you? The house doesn't want us to leave. Well, you said so yourself. Phyllis Shays loves us. You wouldn't let anything bad happen to us. I won't let anything bad happen to you, Mum. You won't be here, though, will you? Right, Mum. You get ready for school, love. Don't forget your violin. Mr. Roebuck. Mr. Addis. Mr. and Mrs. Clitheroe. They're here to see the house? As I discussed with Mrs. Addis on the phone yesterday? Faith! Quit, you two. Toddy a bit. No! No! Faith, this is, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Clitheroe. They come to see the house. Of course they have. Come in. Come in. I wouldn't buy it if I were you. The house won't like you. Here's where the room is. £50 a week plus bills. For this? I know, I could ask a lot more. But I like the company. I don't want any more of your shenanigans, Miss Addis. My what? No more fish in the airing cupboard and no more flatulent goats in the bathroom. Is that clear? 
The animals are refusing to eat. What's the matter with them? They don't want to leave Phyllis's. Molly. Molly, what is the matter with you? Hey? I mean, really, what is the matter? Men died here. Now, I know that, love. That means her ghost is here. We're going to leave her with strangers all alone. She wouldn't want us to do that. Is that why you've been so upset? And Anne's in heaven now, isn't she? She might not be. You said she'll be around us and looking after us. Well, that's what I believe. Well, then, she must be here, then. I also happen to believe that your Nan was one of the smartest women I'd ever met in my life. So I think that Addie's ghost would be more than capable of following a removal truck. And I also think that us moving house for a few miles wouldn't stop her moving with us. What do you think? No. No. There's nothing to worry about, is there? We're all going to stay together, all of us. Not Marcus. Of course, Marcus. You'll see him every day of your life. So no more delaying tactics, eh? We're all in this together. Sorry, mate. When was the last time you lot actually won a game? Summer before last. You ever play, Mr Addis? Well, I should say so. Legend on the Atlee Marshes, I was. W.G. Grace used to borrow his box. Cricket is about technique. It's not about age. I could still show you a lot of thing or two. Dad, you need heavy lifting equipment just to do your laces up. Mock away. But you're the ones who are going to get hammered come Saturday. Why don't you uh, turn out for us, Mr Addis? No, 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 no. Well, uh, I could come out of retirement uh, for a game or two, I suppose. No... Give me a ball. Give me a ball. Come on. Come on. Give me a ball. Any ball. Oh. Have you ever seen my googly? No. But if you get it out of the table, I'll feed it to the dogs. How's the house hunting been going? Hovel hunting, you mean? Nothing. You? Not a sausage. This is a sausage. <laughs> I see someone's vanished right of me. A what? It's in the toaster with the worms. Can I watch Dad play cricket? Of course you can. You never came and watched me. Quite right, too. Why should women waste their precious leisure hours watching men chase balls? It's medieval. I could have sworn that was you on the boundary last Saturday. I was there in an ironic sense. Was Alex there? I don't recall. I bet he was. You were there because he was there. Your men are show sisterly solidarity. It's the rules. I'd be there, too, if he was my boyfriend. He's well. could uh, do with a lick of paint, obviously. It could do with moving to inner city Gdansk, where it might feel more at home. You uh, don't like it? I don't like it. Brian! Brian! You couldn't spend a couple of minutes on this planet, could you? It's horrible. I just said that. Well, there's nothing left to show you. You have seen the lot. It must be somewhere. There isn't. Except your place, of course. I'm starting to get an excellent response to Villachet's. That's because it's got a bit of soul. Look, we, uh, we want somewhere that speaks to us. Where there's a relevance to us. Somewhere where we'll be happy. Where the kids will be happy. The animals will be happy. Even the plants will be happy. Oh, there's uh, nothing worse than an unhappy plant, is there? Of course, it could just be fate telling us to stay where we are. It's not an option, Faith. If we don't get anywhere bigger, we won't be able to fulfil our contract. my luck. Nothing. Unless you've got 50 or 60 grand, you can lend me. I can lend you 50 or 60 pence. I don't know how anyone ever affords to leave home. What are you up to? I'm being a domestic goddess. I'm looking for somewhere to live. And I'm his glamorous assistant. 
fancy a quick spin to the beach? No, we must be getting on. I'll see you at cricket, yeah? Yeah. See ya. See ya. What about you? Fancy a drive? I'd better not. I've got chores to do. Seize the day, Sarah. You've got a lifetime to do chores in. Yeah, you're right. Is that Phyllis Shays? Nope. What house is that then? The house of my dreams. What will you do when you get your results? Depends on my grades. I really want to go to Exeter. And stay around here? What if you don't? I'll go wherever I can get in. Even if it means moving away? Uh-huh. What about Alex? What about him? Don't he mind that? He'll be fine. And if he isn't? Isn't. Nothing lasts forever, does it? I suppose not. Sarah? What are you doing? I like you, Sarah. I really like you. You're going out with Lindsay. I know, but... My best mate? I'll get rid of her and you can get rid of Alex and you and I can... Get rid of Alex for you? You're bored of him, Sarah. Lindsay told me. You don't know anything about me. I'll drive you home. I'd rather walk. That's Eddie, one on the left. His dad's a property landlord. Who's she with? That's Bobby Payne. Bobby Payne? He's their fast bowler. He's supposed to be on holiday. Last the task for fielding. Bobby Payne's playing. Can't be, he's on holiday. I don't quite understand. You want me to find you a room in a clean, friendly house for £35 a week? Exactly. And I thought you must know every floorboard in this part of Devon. Verging on the impossible, I'm afraid. Cheap, decent rural accommodation at affordable prices. It's the holy grail, Mrs Addis. I thought I'd ask. I hope you and Mr Addis aren't, um, well, you know, no marital problems. No. No. So the room is for? My son. Oh, I see. Oh, thank goodness for that. Only I had a call from that couple from Cardiff, Mrs Addis. They want to buy Philoshays for the full asking price. That's all right, Marcus. Keep it going. Come on. Then I just sat on her and squashed her, didn't I? How are they doing? Marcus bowls and that man hits the ball into the trees. Who's that? You know, you and Michael. Certainly do. You're, um, quite serious about him, aren't you? You know I am. Why? Michael and I went to the beach together. I know. He told me. He told you? He saw you in town. He looked a bit down, so he took pity on you and took you for a drive. It's all right. I don't mind. He took pity on me. He kissed me. That's what he did. He tried to kiss me. He said he was prepared to get rid of you for me. He bored of Alex, so you thought he split me and Michael up? No. I can't believe you'd do something like this. You know how much I like him. And that's why I'm telling you, he's not worth Just it. Just leave me alone. Wait. You ask him then! Don't worry, I will. 
Uh-oh. Your dad's getting his googly out. Well, uh, uh, to me. Call you two in a bit. In a bit. A bit more, uh, uh Michael. Oh, Come on, Dad. A bit wider, yeah, yeah. Dad. Out a bit, out a bit, go a bit, go a bit round there. Yeah, that's it, yeah. That was my googly. That was my car. You pick my variations well, I'll give him that. Dad, it doesn't matter which way you spin it, it doesn't actually land on the pitch. So I'm a little bit rusty. Never mind. Be in the pub before we know it. That's not the attitude, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what? He had a trial for Somerset. As a bowler? A fast bowler. Midford Express, they call them. Be afraid, Mr. Addis. Be very afraid. Eddie? My name's Marcus, Marcus Addis. Ah, some pretty sharp bowling. Thanks. Um, I heard your dad was a sort of landlord. The thing is, I'm looking for somewhere to live and... Sorry, mate. He's not that sort of landlord. He does overpriced cottages and stuff for tourists. And good luck. Sorry, I couldn't help over here. Are you looking for somewhere to live? Yeah. <laughs> I might be able to help. Are you going for a beer after the game? Yeah. We could talk then. I just feel rotten, like it was my fault. Was it your fault that he kissed you? Maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. Remember what happened with you and Andy? Like I'd ever forget. Mm. Well, don't you wish that one of your friends had told you that you were seeing girls behind your back? Tell me the truth. There's nothing to tell. Did you try and kiss my best friend? It was just a bit of a laugh, Lynn. It didn't mean anything. How could you? Sarah's fault. Look, it won't happen again. You disgust me. Lynn's. You did the right thing. Molly! How are Mole? Pitch now, love. They're starting again. Yeah. Look at that. Middle stump rip right out. I asked Roebuck if there was anything around for Marcus. What did he say? No, nothing. That Welsh couple are going to put in an offer for Villa Shays, though. Really? Well, we'll have to find somewhere too, then, and quickly. How's Molly getting on? She seems a lot better. She's been playing and watching the cricket. Go on, Sam. Knock them off. So what number of batsmen are you, then? Um, 11. Is that good? Yeah. visit my grave, won't you? Every Sunday. Unless it's raining. Yeah, 
I've noticed. Try and find the strike to me. Yeah. Medal, please. That is medal. Is Dad all right? Yeah, yeah, he's fine, love. Why doesn't Dad use his bat? I think the bowler's a bit fast for him, Mo. Are you all right, Dad? <sighs> we'll tie her. Let's go to the pub. We'll go to the pub when we've won. Hit the next one, Dad! Give us a bat. I hope you're pleased with yourself. Not dead. Quite a friend you turned out to be. You wouldn't understand the meaning of the world. What was all that about? Nothing. How many more do they need? Six more to win. Three balls to go. Come on, Marcus! Two balls to go. Five needed. Mr. Addis to face. Try and nick a single, Dad. On your toes. Save the single. Place in Netherbury. A flat. House. My girlfriend and I split up a couple of months ago, and I'm struggling to pay the mortgage, to be honest. I'm looking for a lodger. How much is it? It's £45 a week. I know it's a lot, but I don't have much choice. Are you interested? Definitely. Why don't you come and have a look sometime in the week? How about now? Now? Yeah. Why not? Can I bring my girlfriend with us? Of course. I didn't know anyone was coming, so uh, forgive the mess. So what do you think? It's brilliant. I've got my own room, and we share the bathroom and the kitchen and the living room and the garden. Garden? Beautiful cottage garden. And Alan says he wants me to be his mate as much as a lodger. Alan? Doesn't bat left-handed, does he? Right. Oh! He's just split up with his girlfriend, Dad. Her picture's still on the wall. Oh, well, it sounds perfect, love. Yeah, it couldn't all move in, could we? There's just one tiny snag. Oh, I told you. He's in the North Devon synchronised swimming squad, and from now on he wants to be known as Alice. Stop it, Brian. 
He wants five weeks' rent in advance. How much? 45 quid a week. 225 quid? Well, I suppose that's normal. And another five weeks' rent as a deposit. I just don't have it. It's a brilliant place, Dad. It's a lot of money. Look, why don't you invite him over? Me, me and your dad would like to meet him anyway, wouldn't we, Brian? Yeah, good idea. And if we like him, we'll give him the cash. My sister. So I did. What are you reading? Was everything really black and white in those days? Everything was in glorious colour. Glorious. What place is that? Just an old house. Seen it? I don't think so. Where did you get this? I painted it from a dream I had. When I left the army, I knew I didn't want to live in a city again, so I moved down here. Scone? Devon just seemed perfect for me after all that. But not for your girlfriend? Name, rank and serial number, Mum. That's all I need to tell you. <laughs> no, it's, it's OK. My mum would be just the same. Jessica was very into the countryside in theory. You know, sunlit fields, very quiet, odour-free cows. In reality, she missed the bright lights of Fulham. So, I need some money to help pay the mortgage. And I admit, a bit of intelligent company wouldn't go amiss. But you'll make do with Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Silverdale. Is that a real place? It's a real place in its own valley, hidden from the road. Few people know of its existence now. Just a ruin, I expect. But once, full of life. Full of life. Three children grew up in that house together. Two girls and a boy. Their father was a great botanist. What's a botanist? Someone who loves plants and fruit and growing things. My dad's a great botanist. Is he now? They were so very happy. What happened? One day an illness came to the valley and the two eldest children died. What were their names? Grace and Robert Foster. The family left Silverdale forever, heartbroken. The other girl grew up and travelled abroad just like her father. Ended up in Hong Kong. Never set foot in Silverdale again. Can you tell me where the house is? Molly? Molly? It's time to go. It's brilliant! Very nice little bachelor pad. Oh, I'm sorry. I think the last bus went about an hour ago. Don't be horrible. Yeah, my first place was above a butcher's shop in Palmer's Green. Let's have a look inside. Do you think I should ring the bell first? You got a key. You pay the rent.
Who the hell are you? I'm Marcus Addis, the new tenant. I don't have a new tenant. I had a tenant, Alan Walcott. One of the more charming and plausible men I've met in a long time or so, I thought. When the rent dried up several months ago, I wrote to him and got credible, believable replies. He'd been made redundant, uh, the bank had messed up the payment, the cheque was in the post. I liked him and I let myself believe him. He's taken some of our money. A lot of our money. He's rented this room out to my son. Leave it dead. Sorry, Marcus, I can't afford to leave it. I made a mistake. I'm an idiot, all right? I'll pay you back. Marcus. Let's just get out of here. Marcus? You tried it on with him first. What? That's when I knew he was a liar. <laughs> what a pig! I didn't know whether to tell you or not. It happened to me once, remember? Does it ever stop hurting? It becomes a dull ache in time. Something to look forward to then? He wasn't worth you, Linz. It's better to find out now than later. You told me a home truth today. Can I tell you one? If you let go of Alex, you're an idiot. Could have cried for him. Me too. I wish he'd come home. Let him lick his wounds. He'll come home when he's ready. How must he be feeling? He was all excited and I was looking on like that. If I ever find a so-and-so, I'll rip his insides out. 450 quid of hours he got away with. Do you reckon they will ever find him? Eventually he'll make a mistake. Not before he's spent our money, though. So... Marcus is homeless and we're about to join him. What a pretty picture that makes. Hi, Mrs. Addis. It's Mandy. I found him.
What's that, Ray? I know what it all means. The house wants us. Fillishays. Mo, it's the middle of the night. Oh, Fillishays, the place in my drawing. It wants to be happy again. Mo, what are you talking about, love? I had a dream and I saw us all there. It was Christmas and you and Sarah were doing the tree and Dad was sat by the fire and Honey and Parsley was there and Marcus. <laughs> This is nice, isn't it? I don't want anyone spoiling this place for me. Yeah? And who could do that? No one. <laughs> what was that for? Just for being you. I'm so lucky to know you. I had no idea. It's huge. It's not quite what it looks. There's enough damp to sink a ship. I feel such an idiot. Well, I don't see why. Other people were taken in by him. I'm going to be living at home until I'm 80. No, you won't. Something will turn up. Come on. Where are we going? To the estate agents, see if there's anything new. Oh, there won't Come be. On. Hello. I was just thinking about you. Mr Roebuck. This may seem a little bit odd. From you, Mrs. Addis? Surely not. Molly's seen a house. Where's she seen it? In a dream. I take it all back, Mrs. Addis. That does sound a little odd. Show the painting, Molly. Ring any bells? It belongs to a woman in Hong Kong, apparently. Her name is, um... Foster? Yeah. Silverdale. That's why I was thinking about you. I received a call from a London solicitor just this morning. His client, uh, Miss Foster, passed away during the night. And, uh, I've been instructed to sell the family house. The woman died in Hong Kong? Hong Kong? No, no, she was at St Cuthbert's, the old people's home down the road. Her name wasn't Vera, was it? Yeah. Vera Foster. existence now. Just a ruin, I expect. But once, full of life. This place is amazing, Mold. Look at all the parties. We could have it in. If I can grow stuff as well as he's done over there, there'll be no stopping us. I could have an office over there. Oh, needs a lot of work. I love it. <laughs> Me too. Do you think you'd visit us here? There's an old caravan round the back. Bit of elbow grease and it'd be fine. Who for? For me, if that's all right. <laughs> of course it's all right. It'd be wonderful. Well, I don't know how you did it, Molly Addis. I think you've just found us our new home. Come on, let's go and have a look.
to something